guys, before I start the video, I just want to let you know that my Patreon profile is now up. So if you want to actively support my YouTube channel, you can do it by going on Patreon and becoming a supporter. Now onto the actual lesson. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about three different things that I like to do when emulating a little bit of SRV's guitar playing style. Now he's a very energetic type of player, very emotional, very raw, very powerful. When you listen to Stevie Ray Vaughan playing, you really feel it. And that all stems from some very powerful moves on the instrument. Not only that, but an amazing guitar tone. He just really, really had an amazing guitar tone. And it's very hard to replicate that. Now, but aside from that, in his actual playing, I'm going to show you guys a couple different things that I like to do when trying to simulate his playing style. Now, I'm going to be showing you three different moves that he actually liked to employ in different areas, different ways. Now, the first one I'm going to mention, I've already seen a couple lessons out there mentioning this, but it's a very, very, very important move or lick. So the essential idea behind this first trick, which I'm going to be calling the two, flat two, one idea, is it all actually begins with that famous Chuck Berry style um, blues lick, which goes like this. Now, once we're done with that, we move on to what I just called the two, flat two, one um, move or approach. Now, it's nothing more than just you're adding those two, flat two, and one notes, well, the one is already there, um, but to the blue scale. And what I mean by that is we have your normal, um, everyday, common day variety, um, minor pentatonic or blue scale. <laughs> Everyone knows that, that box, that pattern. And now I'm just going to be adding the two. So this is the tonic. Now the two is just the second note that stems from the diatonic scale. Um, in this case, from E. This whole pattern is in E minor. And in this case, a whole step away from E, it's just F sharp. And that's going to be the two in this section. The next note we're going to add is just that F natural right there. So, essentially we're going to go, or, so essentially it's just adding those two extra notes to that minor pentatonic scale, and we're just going to be adding it in a specific fashion. So let me go through the full lick, it actually goes something like this. As I said before, it's just a mixture of that Chuck Berry style with that added two and flat two. That's going to be the first trick. You can actually add that to most of the licks that you already know. Most of those Chuck Berry wind up, like pentatonic wind up type of licks. And it's going to give you a bit of a more of a SRV type of flavor. Now onto the second move and it's going to be this guy right here. And then. Now all that's happening there is I'm pretty much just playing almost like a power chord. But when I'm moving up to that fifth, I'm just doing a hammer on. Now, all of this happens as the chords are changing. So in this specific case, which is what I did at the, the beginning performance, I'm doing B for the B7 chord, and then I'm doing A for the A7. So essentially you're just playing a dyad, and by dyad I mean like a two note type of chord or interval. Um, so I'm beginning at the fourth. So I'm essentially just playing the tonic or the root at the second string and the fourth on the first string and then just hammering on quickly to the fifth. And then I move down to the next chord which is A and I do exactly the same thing. Now it's important to say that I employed this specifically in that five to four chord movement. That actually gives it more of that SRV sound. Now the last thing I'm going to mention is his use of triads um, to play almost rhythmic parts in between his lead parts. Now, if we were doing this on E, I would just play an E triad over that E. So it would be something like this. As you can see that, it's pretty simple. You can add a slide a half step beforehand and just slide on to the main triad that you're going to be using. You can apply that to any of the different inversions or other triads so you, can, you can find on the next, so you're going to find this guy here. You can find this guy right here. Or this guy right here. 
Now another cool thing that you can do with this is to add the triad a whole step down from the main triad. This is specifically true um, for blues that are played with seven chords. So essentially you can go down a whole step from the root note of that chord. In this case, let's say we're in E. So E7. Then we can just play the E triad. And we can go down a whole step to that D triad. And you can play around with both of those triads. So you can go. And I actually saw him using this, applying this, over a bunch of his different solos in live performances. Now, why does this work? Well, it all stems from the Mixolydian scale. Now, why does it stem from Mixolydian? Well, the flat seventh chord in Mixolydian is actually a major triad. It could be a major triad or a major seven chord. But in this case, I'm just using the triad, so I get that more of a rock, a little bit more of a raw type of a sound. So you can work with that. All right, so those are the three SRV type legs that I wanted to show you guys. That's it for the video. Remember to hit the like button, comment below if you have any types of suggestions. Also remember to hit the subscribe button for more free lessons. And if you want to support the channel a little bit more actively, you can go to my Patreon account and you'll find all sorts of different reward tiers for your level of support. All right, thanks for watching.